Hi there, I'm Clive Wilson and today I have the pleasure of being with Sean Oakes who is the Green Party Parliamentary Candidate for Harrogate, Knaresborough and Boroughbridge. And I'm going to talk to Sean in the same way that I'm going to talk with a number of other candidates in our constituency uh, and I will use these interviews to guide me on my voting at the forthcoming election. So Sean, um, can you confirm that I have invited you to be interviewed about a topic that is of primary importance to me, where your response will inform how I vote at the forthcoming elections, and that I have not shared with you the topic we are about to discuss. I can confirm that, Clive. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, have you heard of the draft United Nations Sustainable Development Goals? I have heard of that, yes. And what do you think of the goals? Well, I can't say I know them in detail, but um, all I know is that the Green Party will be supporting anything which is um, promoting real sustainability. And by that I mean challenging the power of the corporations, which at the moment are, are completely dominating our lives, our world. And uh, with the upcoming Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership, uh, we will enter an Orwellian era. So we have to stop that. So, sorry, I don't know the detail of the UN goals, but all I can say is that I know that the party, both nationally and in, at the European level, and in fact globally, because we are a global party, will be doing anything to support what we agree with of those, and we will also be lobbying to, to make those goals stronger. I suspect we think they're not strong enough, um, but, because the Greens are, are really out for a sustainable world, not something watered down. Fabulous. Would it, would it be helpful if I just quickly gave it a little bit of background yes, to say what, what the goals are and how they have come about? Mm -hmm. would, that be, would that be That helpful? would be lovely, thank you. So the Sustainable Development Goals have not yet been agreed, but they're in draft form. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reason that they've come about is that, um, of course, we had the Millennium Development Goals at yeah. the turn of the century. Um, which were as follows, to eradicate extreme poverty and hunger, to achieve universal primary education, to promote gender equality and empower women, to reduce child mortality, to improve maternal health, to combat H HIV, AIDS, malaria and other diseases, mm -hmm. to ensure environmental sustainability and to develop a global partnership for development. <coughs> so those were the uh, Millennium Development yeah. Goals, which of course had the target date by and large of 2015, mm. which happens to be this election mm. year, mm. Uh, which is why it's so interesting for me. And last year, um, the United Nations uh, did a report on progress on the Millennium Development Goals, and uh, they set out a, a working party to say, what do we do next? And as a result of that working party, there are now 17 sustainable development goals, um, which start should be ratified in September, fingers crossed, at the United Nations, and will set a target date by and large for 2030. There are some exceptions, I believe. Um, but they cover the following 17 areas. Would you like to mm. hear them? So the, uh, the goals are, um, uh, and this is very shorthand, it's a lot longer, but this is just headlines. Uh, they will cover poverty, hunger, health, education, gender equality, water, energy, economic growth, infrastructure, equality within and be between nations, cities, uh, consumption, climate change, seas and oceans, terrestrial ecology, peaceful and inclusive societies, and uh, the Global Partnership for Sustainable Development. So those are the, the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. So. Um, Without going into the detail of the goals, in general terms, what do you think about them? Well, it sounds great. It will depend on whether the forces with power in the world actually mean, well, can be marshalled to do what's needed. And, for example, economic growth, what does that mean? If we're talking about infinite growth on a finite planet, all the rest won't happen at all. Yeah. They will not happen. So we have to address that, yeah. and that's fundamentally what the Green Party is doing. 
yeah. locally, nationally, internationally. And we are very strong in Europe, so we push yeah. at, at a European level particularly for this, this sort of thing. Well, of course, the, the titles that I've given are very much headline titles, but yeah. um, when we talk about econo economic growth, the goal is about sustainable economic mm. growth, so it, that's interesting. Um, how will you and your party promote and work towards the delivery of these goals? I think all our policies work towards the spirit of those goals, um, yes. all of them. We're, we're a deeply democratic party, fiercely democratic party and um, we mean that both within our party obviously and, and throughout the world we want real democracy we want the people to have the say not vested interests and if that happens if you can make that happen and we work all the time to do that then you will actually meet the other goals um, I was actually in Uganda at the time um, working hard on the Millennium Development Goals and um, you can see a little progress being made, for example, on girls' education. But unfortunately, this business of infinite growth undermines everything. And that's really fundamentally what, what we work to challenge. Thank you. Um, which of your policies in particular align to these goals and how would, how would you take them forward? Do you want to give any examples? Wow, where do I start? Mm. Um, well, one thing that I suppose, following on from what I said about democracy, um, just at our last conference in Liverpool this weekend, um, we agreed at conference to, um, to a policy about um, proportional representation because the voting system in this country is archaic. The first-past-the-post voting system means that people don't vote for what they haven't so far voted for what they believe in they they do things like voting tactically and all that means is we keep getting more of the same which is why this country is becoming a kind of dinosaur uh, in terms of making any progress because we are just held right back by our voting system so the Green Party agreed at conference that we would make it a priority to work for proportional representation so that people will at least be able to engage in real democracy and be able to vote for what they truly believe in. Thank you. And is there anything you would like to say to a voter, I mean, mm. who cares about the future of our world in these terms? Wow. Well, I'd just say vote green, obviously, because we're the only party that is really addressing what's what's underlying the damage that is going on to our people and our planet. And the two are completely interlinked. Um, the party, our party, focuses on justice. That's social justice and environmental justice. The two are completely interlinked. You can't have one without the other. And um, I would just say to people, vote with your heart. Look at the policies and vote for the policies you believe in. And they are. There's a really big choice to be made now because all the old parties and some of the new parties are going along this sort of neoliberal, whatever you want to call it, line of infinite growth. If you go along that, you are just going to take a stat over the precipice. If you look at green policies, we're challenging that whole paradigm and saying, no, we have to stop the vested interests, we have to work for real democracy and, and work to localise um, power, uh, Decisions should be made at the most local level, not at national or European level, for example, where it's not appropriate. Where appropriate, appropriate, make decisions at local level so that people are properly involved and also localise our economies, our, our communities, so that our, the wealth of communities, of the people, isn't just drained straight out into the pockets of shareholders of massive international corporations. So, you know, we're looking at this underlying stuff. We're not just putting frills on policies. Very, very big difference between the Greens and all the other parties. Sean Oakes, thank you ever so much for spending time with me. Thank you.